Today, we are at the Fincantieri shipyard in northern Italy for the float out of Britannia. Ah, fantastic day in the life of, of Britannia, the ship, P&O Cruises, the brand, and actually for the British cruise industry. It's a little bit of an emotional day for me as well, and no matter how sort of battle-hardened I become, it's a big day. This is, this is why I do the job. At any float out, we have a madrina, and madrina is the float out godmother. Our madrina today was Louise Hunt from Travel Counselors, and I think she's really enjoyed doing it for us. It's an incredible experience. I mean, it's an incredible shell going up in the lifts and seeing the swimming pools and the incredible size of the sun deck. Just imagining being on there with a lounger with an iced G&T. So emotional, so happy. I can't believe how lucky I am. And then we performed the coin ceremony where we took a coin from Great Britain and from the Italian nation and we put them within the deck of this extraordinary ship. The three of us welded the box shut so that it'll be there and I, I think it's going to be quite interesting coming back in the future and finding the coins and maybe they'll have tidied up my welding, I don't know. <laughs> During the ceremony, we had a wonderful speech from Senor D'Apello, as well as Chief Commercial Officer Gerard Tempest. We also had a blessing from the priest, as well as the national anthems from both countries, which was a really special moment for me. <laughs> Louise had a big moment, which was when she used an axe to cut the cord which made a bottle of Prosecco smash against the name Britannia. So a little nerve-wracking being given an axe when there's so many cameras pointed at you and so much pressure and thinking will the bottle smash? Madrina, in nome di Dio, taglia! Seeing the bottle smash, that was quite a relief. And it was just incredible, the smiles when I actually cut the cord. I just felt like my whole body lit up, it was incredible. That was the moment when the water started rushing into this dry dock and filling underneath Britannia's hull. Oh, it's a fantastic day for everybody, for the ship particularly, because that's what it's designed to be. It's designed to be in water, and now that it's actually got some water under it, it's starting to be a ship. A number of people have just said, wow, this thing looks sensational. Most people can't get far enough back from the ship to fit it all in one photo. It, it's so fantastically grand. We're on our way now. It's outfitting next, it's uh, sea trials next. And this is such a significant moment for Britannia arriving in March 2015 and more significantly for P&O Cruises as a company. <laughs>